Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to demonstrate or walk you, rather walk you through a to-do list app that I recently created. I googled everywhere and I found few of the blogs, but I was it was difficult to follow those blogs and other applications that were available on the YouTube were not good enough. So I constructed on. It took me some time to you know make a finally an app and uh, I'm going to minimize a lot of hassle that I went through uh, in creating this app. Okay, so, so first first hour is I'm going to tell you how it looks or rather how yeah I'm going to let you know how it looks so that if you if you are thinking that it's worth your time probably I won't be making it more than five to ten minutes long just uh, because that's was the that's what was the thing that I was looking for when I you know uh, went to YouTube and wanted to have a simple to-do list app. Okay, so first things first. Uh, this is my setup, VS Code, and I've already integrated Kit Bash with it. For this integration, for the setup, you can definitely Google somewhere. For the app purpose, what I'm going to say is this is the directory where I have uh, kept all the files of my app. And I have already my Git Bash is already pointing pointing to that directory. If it's not for your if, if it's not in your case, then definitely you should cd into your directory and then run the following commands. So if you're going to download this app from the description below, you will have to install all the essential libraries. Those libraries are already mentioned in the package.json file, right? If you could see the dependencies over here and all those things. So what you have to do is run npm install. And that will install all the dependencies present over here, and that would you would be good to go. Okay. Also, over here you can clearly see that main is pointing to index.js. So this says that this is the server or this is the main file of my application. So to run my app, all I'm going to do is node mon index.js. You can also run ind node index.js, but nodemon is again a library. You have to do npm install nodemon, but it solves so much problems. Like you don't have to save every time. You you don't have to refresh every time you save some changes to your to your server. Okay, it does it for you. So as you can see, I type nodemon index.js, and I have my server running on port number seven thousand, and my database is connected. Okay, so. Yeah, I've already opened this app before. So on localhost 7000, this is the app that I have created. It's a very simple app, nothing much into it, but it is good for understanding how the node architecture works or express architecture works. So simple, I'm going to create another task. Add task, the task is added, and then I'm going to select tasks and I'm going to delete them. Okay, so simple if you are looking at the uh, design of it, it's nothing, it's bootstrap, and that too, also very basic. I'm going to walk you through it uh, in a very short time. Okay, so back to index.js. So in index.js, what I have, all I have done is, mm -hmm. okay. So I have brought an express. I've uh, I've already defined the port where it's going to run, and then I have uh, imported database, or rather, huh, I have importing the database. So this mongoose file creates the connection. So this all is the boilerplate code for connection to the MongoDB database. You know. This I will I have not used any passwords and uh, usernames, so therefore over here you are not seeing very short string, and I will recommend you that only because you are just trying to understand this. So all you have to do is down, download MongoDB and just click next, 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 and uh, it, you you will be all set. Okay, you don't have to create anything into it. This file will create everything for you. Okay, let's go back to index.js and. Uh, after importing the database, I'm importing the schema. What is schema? Schema is like a database. Okay, so you made a connection to the database and now you are defining your own database. So if I could just show you, see, uh, task schema 
it contains a description the description contains string category and date all those fields that are used in the task uh, to do app okay uh, it would be more it would be more understanding you will be understanding it more when i show you the view section okay so that was the tasks mm -hmm. okay now i'm using my express app this line of code is for you know static things like images and css files if you are creating those but i switched to bootstrap so they're worthless right now so i'm going to comment them sorry and uh, yeah over here i'm using url encoder for you know all the message passing is encrypted format and then i'm setting up my views i'm view engine is setting to ejs ejs is a library and then my i'm telling where is my views okay so yeah let's go to the views in views i have created i guess two forms not guessing i have created two forms the first form takes the input and you know submits the data for the creation of the uh, particular field i should not be saying field right it's different in mongodb but what the hell so this is creation of a particular field this form right so when i click submit when i click submit what happens is the action attribute is set to create task so this create task controller is present in index.js only because it's a small project so i didn't thought it's a good idea to uh, make a different controller holder so this is the creating task uh, create task controller what it does is uh, see it uh, takes all the input from the form and puts it into the my database task was my schema and dot calling dot create function i'm putting all the data into it and if it's error then it's going to throw error right so that's that and this is the delete controller similar to the similar to this uh above form i have also a, bill, a form for deletion and this form mm -hmm, yeah so in this form i'm also uh, you know displaying the values from the schema okay so if you could see the scriptlets over here and uh, yeah this this id i dot id and i dot description and i dot category this is all fetching the data from the schema and displaying in the front of you and then i'm going to select the id of the uh task that i want to delete from this form right and i'm going to submit when i click submit again the controller will be uh, this controller delete task controller will be running and this delete card task controller is again defined in the index.js only and if you could see this is the logic to delete the uh, to be exact this is this is the query that i will be running in order to uh delete the i the specific ids that i have already selected over there those ids will be deleted from the schema yeah so that's that that's my app uh, to-do list i hope it's not a long video and do check out the description you will find the link for the github repository of this code again to run this app simple app all you have to do is npm install you will be installing all the dependencies and you're good to go Thank you. I hope it solves some problems or saves some time of yours.